Raptors are fucking looking good for a plus unit day again. Possible! Come on, baby! We fucking needed it. We were chasing. I'm not gonna lie. We were chasing, but it's looking good. Good morning, people. May 2nd here, May 2nd vlog. Uh, starting the day off with getting a nice cup of coffee from a local coffee shop. So, uh, looked at the board today. Some leans, but uh, nothing locked in as of yet. Finally uh, back from getting coffee here, a uh, little running around with my girl. Uh, you know, for the gents watching out there, the handicapper life, it's always uh, difficult doing time management. So, you know, it's Sunday today. Obviously, I don't get up as early as I do during the week. Um, it's going to be a short, short card tonight. I don't like too much on the board. Um Getting in the lab right now, going to be going over some of these plays. Uh, but first and foremost, always make the girlfriend happy or, uh, you know, your significant other. You uh, you got to do that to, uh, you know, have a balanced life and also a balanced mind while, uh, you know, handicapping these games. All right. So as I said, uh, Sunday short card for me today, probably one or two spots just in the NBA uh, NHL, these are already the lines for tomorrow. There's only one game on the slate today. MLB, uh, all the games have been played. Sunday Night Baseball already started. So we're looking at the NBA. Uh, little action on maybe one or two games here. First lean, I'm thinking Boston. You know, I'm thinking Boston on uh, the point spread. Uh, the line has definitely shifted. Got to dig a little bit deeper here. I believe the Portland Celtics game is on NBA TV as well. So not necessarily a good game to bet on. These primetime games on these networks are always, always tricky. Jumping on the wager talk resource here. Uh, a resource that Sharp Dimes put me on to who you guys know very well co-host of betting in the trenches uh want to look at some of the sharp books here pinnacle portland getting uh 60 69 percent of the money and uh 64 percent of the tickets as of 6 22 p.m here so right on the dot where we're looking portland seems to be getting some of the money boston came in around five o'clock boston Portland seems to be getting the money here. Um, going to be looking at who's in, who is out. Jumping over here to Fantasy Labs on Twitter. My main, main resource for who is in, who is out. Uh, you know, you never know in the NBA. And, you know, that's why at this point in time in the season, I'm just, I, I look at the early lines to see what I'm leaning. Um, but it really doesn't make much sense to be placing those bets not close to tip off. Because it doesn't seem like the lines are they like they even matter by the end of the game if you got the early line or the late line, and also you know you just don't know who's going to be in. I mean the NBA right now is very very wishy washy on who is starting and you know if guys are going to be ruled out right before tip off. All right, so this is the bet three sixty five uh, you know deep stats type of. Um, database here that they have going it's a fantastic fantastic resource let's look at the matchup so um uh, you're looking at pretty much both teams are even ats portland sitting at 32 and 31 boston 31 and 33 their offense clearly portland is better but you know here's the here's the differential that i'm looking at i'm looking at this defense and we clearly know that the boston celtics are better defensively and when the portland trailblazers play teams that are decent on def on defense or you know very very good on defense which i don't know if boston's very good on defense but they're you know a decent team uh who can play some defense a lot better than the blazers uh you know they seem to struggle 
they really, really seem to struggle. Let's look at some of the trends here. Uh, Boston is one and four ATS in the last five games. Boston is two, four, and one ATS in its last seven games when playing at home against Portland. Uh, they are 12 and four straight up in the last 16 games at home playing against Portland. You know, I really just think Boston has the edge here. I'm quite surprised that Portland, uh, are, are the favorites here. I really, really am. So let's, let's lock this in actually because um, the game starts at about eight minutes. I'm actually headed out, um, to go to dinner tonight. So Sunday night, resting up, uh, not too much action, going to enjoy the night. Uh, but I am looking to put a two unit spot on the Boston Celtics. As a lot of probably handicappers, you know, they don't watch all of the games that they bet on. And it really kind of takes away from the personal life. Uh, and Sundays, the the day of the week, you really want to take time to spend time with your family or loved ones, significant other, whatever you can do. And, uh, you know, that's exactly what I'm doing tonight. So I'm taking my girlfriend out for uh, a little dinner at our favorite spot downtown. Let's cash this bet together, people. <laughs> Blazers 115 Celtics 109. We're sweating. My girlfriend's in the bathroom. We're sweating over here. We're sweating. She probably doesn't know that I'm sweating, but I'm sweating. Win or lose, we booze in the uh, words of Johnny Manziel. So, uh, you know, Celtics are down seven. Hopefully they come back. Three minutes left. That's like a little tequila on a Sunday night. Mm. Celtics lost. In the bath, placing bets here. Uh, we're going on to Toronto Raptors. Plus 10.5 against the Lakers tonight. Three units. We are going to finish plus today. I believe in the spot. Just booked it. Three units on the Raptors. Let's get this cash and finish plus on the day, baby. I got to talk to Zini. I got to talk to Zini Picks. This guy is a wizard. I call him my genie. Zini the genie. And we got a theory going on right now that I can't talk about on camera. But we got a theory going on right now that I think backs up my bet that I literally just placed in the bathroom. Yes, the degeneracy is real. I placed a bet while I was taking a piss. And uh, it's gotta happen. Raptors gotta cover this 10 and a half. So let's see what Zini's gotta say. I mean, come on, you know, I mean, I'm a good person, you know. Uh, you know, I, day two, throw me a bone, universe. Come on, Raptors plus 10 and a half. That's a lot of fucking points against the Lakers team that hasn't shown us that they can cover. Come on, last three games. Both teams on a three game losing streak. Come on, Toronto, keep it going. It's 45, 46, couple minutes left in the second quarter. Let's just keep it close. I expect the Lakers to win, but don't cover 10 and a half. Please, even if it's just not a look. Please. There's a lot of fucking points. Dude. A lot of fucking okay, points. You can get them. You can get them. We're going to get it done. Let's get the Lakers though, LeBron. <laughs> so if you're in Chicago, come to Handlebar. Come see my boy Lewis and tell him major plays Mike Clean sent you. Yes. He'll hook you up. Just left Handlebar. I was just checking my phone. And it is a, a pleasure to say that the Toronto Raptors are up 106 to 93 on the Lake Show with only seven minutes and 53 seconds left. Let's go. We're going to finish plus on the day again if this holds. We got to get it, baby. My fucked up ass left my hat. So uh, luckily we uh, have our waiter's number, our buddy Lewis, and uh, he shot me a text. He's like, hey, man, did you leave your hat? But the Raptors are up 111 to 106, I believe. So we are about to possibly cash this bet. Thank God we need it. All right, so it's uh, not every day that you get to hang out with your boy, Lewis. 
from uh, Handlebar, but uh, I just went back to get my hat and he invited us out to the bar that him and a couple of uh, Handlebar employees are going to. The Raptors are fucking looking good for a plush unit day again. Possible! Come on, baby! We fucking needed it. We were chasing. I'm not gonna lie. We were chasing, but it's looking good. There it is, people. Toronto, 121 to LA, 114. Our guy John hooked us up with the channel. We covered the spread and won outright. What do you think about that, Lewis? What do you gotta say about it, my guy? Man, you know what? He told you. Give me another shot. <laughs> I said it, we brought it into fruition. I told you guys, this is what I'd like to see. We're gonna party our asses off, then we're gonna go home and edit. What's up guys? Um, yeah, so after the last footage, I 100% fucking blacked out. <laughs> uh, party a little bit too hard about the Raptors winning and uh, as you can see and probably hear my voice I am down for the count but it is early in the morning on Monday um, we're going to power through we're going to power through today but that completes the May 2nd vlog uh, as always everybody stay looking good stay looking fresh and let's get another unit on the board on May 3rd, people. What is going on, people? Welcome to day three of the 30-plus month vlog series. Today, we are extremely behind. Uh, I'm 100% hungover. You can probably hear it in my voice. We went a little bit too hard. Uh, but that's all a part of the game. We won. We won on the Raptors. We won on the Raptors. We came right back. We lost two units. We came right back and won with the Raptors for another plus day, two plus days in a row. And, uh, you know, today is basically just going to be me editing uh, days two vlog, which is late getting out, but we're going to get it out today. And then uh, also the season, or not season, the April review of the MLB that, we sh uh, that I shot with Dan. Uh, so basically that's just going to be the day. And then we got to get some plays on the board. So... Uh, I just hopped out of the shower right now. Gonna go to Jimmy John's, get myself a sandwich. I need some bread in my stomach, and uh, that will get to work. Been absolutely busting my ass editing all day, but uh, let's pick some of these spots. So, um, was leaning New York in this matchup here against Memphis, um, but I'm looking at how the money's coming in, and... You know, it seems like Memphis got hammered in the morning at that minus three, if you guys can see that. Um, it seems like they got hammered in the morning at minus three, but then New York's just been completely taking the rest of the action. Uh, pretty much all day. We got a 50 split right there at 530, but then again, New York's taking it. And New York's, they're giving us plus four now. You know, as of right now, it's plus four. Just seems a little bit baity to me here. Um, but I would have to bet probably New York if I had to. It's like New York or nothing for me there. So um, uh, that was one spot I was looking at. Not sure if I'm going to pull the trigger yet. We got a few minutes here uh, before tip-off to make these final decisions. In hockey here, we're going to pull the trigger on uh, for a one-unit spot. We're definitely pulling the trigger on this Kings-Arizona game. Arizona's basically getting all the money at 94% there. And, you know, I just I just think that this is way, way too high of a price. Way too high of a price to be getting the Coyotes at. This should be a lot more even, and I think there's some value there on uh, the Kings tonight with Jonathan Quick. Um, he's back now and he's been playing a little bit better. He's had a struggled or he struggled this season, battled injuries a lot. And, uh, you know, Darcy Kemper for the Coyotes is just really labored this last month. And Arizona's basically playing themselves, 
uh, you know, right out of their playoff hopes, just like our uh, beloved Blackhawks over here. They are losing <laughs> four to nothing the last time I checked tonight. So uh, definitely pulling the trigger on the Kings uh, on the money line plus one forty. I like that spot. I think there's some value there. Like I said. Uh, NBA still kind of up in the air, but I will fill you guys in when I do pull the trigger. All right, I lied. Pull the trigger on the Grizzlies. I uh, I think I'm reading the game from a perspective of only wanting to bet on the Knicks, and you can't do that in this game. And uh, I think this is a perfect letdown spot for the Knicks. Obviously, they're the underdog, but clearly the public is expecting them to cover tonight. And they have a really tough schedule coming up. And I think that this is a total look-ahead spot for them. And the Grizzlies are no Jamos. They've been playing hard-nosed good basketball. And uh, I'm on the Grizzlies, minus four tonight, one unit. And then the uh, LA Kings in hockey for one unit. So hopefully both of those cash. Hopefully we can go up two units today. Well, a little bit more because the money line for the Kings uh, is plus 140. And uh, might have another spot on this Lakers Nuggets game, but uh, we we will see. So that is the action that we are on tonight. I'm gonna go back to working my ass off getting these uh, videos edited, and uh, let's let's make some money tonight. Well, uh, Memphis lost. Not happy about the uh, read. The initial read was the Knicks, like I said, and. Uh, it, Overthought myself, absolutely overthought myself, and uh, the Knicks ended up covering the spread, but the Kings cash, so still a plus day, uh, not too much footage today, I was uh, staring at a computer screen basically all day, editing, um, working on two videos right now, ended up just combining today's into day two uh, due to the lack of footage. Also, very much recovery day for me uh, last night. Don't bounce back like I used to. Um, but Kings got it done for us. Another plus day. Third day. Plus is plus. Um, definitely want to gain a unit or two. Tomorrow, we got betting in the trenches. Um, popping off at 12 noon tomorrow, Central Time. Pushed it back. Uh, Sharp Dimes, he's got something to do. So, uh, pushing it back to 12 o'clock. But we have betting in the trenches with K Holly88, the first fan of the show to get on. Uh, I am super excited to, to meet him uh, officially face to face and uh, chop up plays with everybody. Uh, cannot wait to see all the great fans and handicappers in the chat with us. Uh, betting in the trenches is always a blast. Live show on Twitter and YouTube. Um, but it's three o'clock in the morning. Finally done editing, ready to drop these videos tomorrow. Um, looking at day two, day three, dropping, and uh, then the baseball uh, April review to drop Wednesday. Plus, we got betting in the trenches, so content, content, content. Uh, tomorrow, we will have a regular full day of recording. Um, want to keep it fun, want to keep it interesting for all of you, but also just kind of give you, you know. The whole idea of this is give you a taste a day in life, 30 days in the life of how we do what we do. So um, everybody stay looking good, stay looking fresh. And tomorrow we got betting in the trenches and just another beautiful day to win some more cash.